You ready? How did you even do all this? Where is it all? It's all on the floor <laughs> and on the bed. Remind me if we ever need to smuggle something. You are who I want to <laughs> be with, okay? Because I saw the before. And I don't know what you did. That's crazy. Yeah. Are you nice ready? Nice job. I'm to well, I'm exhausted. But yeah, yes, I'm, I'm exhausted. Ready. Yes. Okay, okay. Let's, let's get out of here. Dizzy from the way this world is turning. You know why? You know why? <laughs> we passed a truck called Joe Mama's Moving, and that, meant that was five minutes of Joe Mama jokes. But you could just stop. Yeah, there you go. Just stop there. We're all just trying to find our place, but each day could go a million ways. I guess we're all running the same race. We'll make it up, make it up as we go now. Almost finished. We almost finished. We almost finished. Oh, oh, it. oh, there we go. We'll make it up as we go now, go now, go now. Make it up as we go now, go now, go now. We good? Yeah, it's long down. Let me get the uh, the mile on trip two, and let's go zero, and let's see how many miles season nine is. Oh, wow, okay. Right? All right, here we go. How many miles do you think, Carson? I'm gonna go last. Okay. <laughs> Smart man. I'm ready to all, right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Mom okay. says 10,000. Yeah, 15,000. And Caleb says 15,000. Okay. Because? I say 12,709. I say. <laughs> I keep on moving along. Times are changing, but I sing this song. Keep on moving along. Times are changing, but I sing this song. We need to come up. We need to come up three inches. On the front or the back? On the front. So can you lift the hitch up three inches? Hi, Charlie. What? How's it going in here? Well, Mark, this is not off to a good start. What are you talking about? What? We don't have water. No. We <sighs> didn't have dinner. Okay. We, we just show up at nighttime and we're sleeping next to a barrel of hay on a main road next to a gas station. I don't this see a not, problem. No red flags. <laughs> this is no red not flags. advisable. We started in a non-advisable manner. Put that camera down. Let's start working on this. All right. Come on. Organization in the morning. Coffee. Well, no, we have to actually get to the bed. So nah, just move it. it all to the dinette. And we need to get Charlie's Lammy. What do you think, Charlie? Charlie's saying, hey, guys, I'm going to sleep up there with you, right? Yeah. No, you're not. Yes, he is. No. <laughs> I bet you, I'll bet you. He's bet, not. In the he morning, I'll bet you he'll be between us. He was sleeping on a dirt pile before we left. You can't sleep up here. Woo, that was the best night's sleep I've had in a long time. Wow. I'm glad for you. That airstream mattress. It's fantastic, and I knew that all of our work was done. I I love the way okay, that when you wake up, you kind of like just barely graze the roof. You know what I mean with your head. 
And then, and then I jumped down like a flying squirrel, and then, <laughs> and then I hit myself on a screw. It hey, you slept in the bunk. Himself. How was the bunk? I just told you. <laughs> it wasn't good. It wasn't good. It wasn't? Joking. It was, it was I, I managed. I managed. All right. But it, He's making the best out of It's only 45 a days. tight situation. How do you spell Ure? O-A? O-U. O-U-R-A. Okay. And then just put it in the K-O-A. Ure K-O-A. Oh, come on, Mom. Oh, yeah. Come on, get on it. Go. Come no, on, come on. No, Mom. I'm not. Don't look, don't look, there's no cars. Hit it. Babe, you can stop. take them around the corner. Stop. Come on. Stop. Shake and bake, baby. Stop. Get them on the outside. Stop. Come on. See, this is, where, this is where I need this thing to work. I think we need to have a unanimous vote before you're allowed to honk at someone like that. Well, that really takes the fun out of it. Well, I take the vote. I take the vote. I take the vote. Trish, I think. The eyes, the eyes out. Trish, I think that's just a formality. I don't think I don't think anyone would be like, yeah, Dad. I don't think you should honk the horn. <laughs> oh, look at her go! Go hit it, Mom. Hit it, hit it. Oh yeah, baby. Woo! That was fun. Congratulations. So I told you after we got the bikes on, which by the way, when we left, I tested the bikes and I can actually see the brake lights going through the bike, so I don't think I have an issue. Maybe I'll have to move the license plate, but we'll see. If so, I could just order another license plate, put somewhere else. So what I ended up doing, because I didn't want to use this as electrical, is we have hammocks in there. I got Charlie's pot. Here, let me tilt this bike back. Oh, that's awesome. So we've got hammocks, and then I got a tent for Caleb just in case it gets a little cramped with both the boys. I brought my, I got my Sierra Design two-man tent, Caleb. And then this cot Charlie loves. We'll show you that in a second, but I'm sure you've seen it. Um, bike helmets and stuff like that. So this has kind of just become stuff like that. And then here, which is very easy to access, I've got the electrical cable and electric boards and all sorts of stuff. So. I'm kind of I'm kind of digging the small storages all the way around the rig. I went into the most adorable town, Uray. It has Main Street. It's absolutely adorable. The shops are great. There's a meat and cheese store, and they specially smoke big bones for dogs. Charlie's having the time of his life right now. <laughs> it was it's like this big. Speaking of smokers, I have been smoking some chicken all afternoon. If you just throw like your favorite hot sauce on chicken legs, put them in the fridge, put them in the freezer for a later time, and then make like a brown sugar rub, sprinkle that on, put it in the Traeger, wait until it's uh, 165, and then pull them off. Or if you don't have a thermometer, if you open up a chicken leg and the juices run clear, that's a good indicator they're done. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna serve up this little snack and then I need to go, this is what we call a snack in our house, and then I need to go to the grocery store. So anyway but you'll thank me later. Hot sauce, marinate for at least 24 hours. Half an hour if you have no time, but 24 hours if you have time. And then throw on some seasoning and throw it in the grill. So good. 
So did you see the poll in the beginning of the video on how many miles do you think this season will last? We're going to Nova Scotia and back assuming that everything goes to plan. Well, the cool part about the poll is that you can see immediate results. So that was in the beginning of the yeah. video. And we want to do a lot more of that this season. So keep an eye out for those polls. And, and all you have to do is just click that little eye in the corner and then it pops up on the left. You can take the poll, see the results. In fact, we put all sorts of things over there like other videos. You can click that link and then it'll pause this video open up the new video in a new tab, mm -hmm. and then you can go back and watch that next. That's how that whole thing works. Yes, so you heard me just say that I visited Main Street in this awesome town. And we just wanted to let you know that we are following all COVID precaution steps. Before we even get to a new place, we make sure that we review all the rules mm -hmm. and we want to support these small towns, but in a very safe way. So yeah. we're wearing a mask when we need to, and we're staying out and away from people. Most places are only allowing 50% occupancy and we're doing a lot of outdoor stuff. Yes. But we just wanted to let you know. So, cause that could be confusing that we're now visiting and half the country is still not visiting places. Yeah, for sure. And then we also wanted to, in this video, go back to the KYD cabin. We just wanted to get on the road in this episode, but there's still lots hap that happened back at the cabin, like getting it, converting it back to a vacation rental. Huge job. And we did some upgrades to the exterior. When we first got it, we did the interior. And mm -hmm. then this year we just focus on the exterior. I feel like the footprint of the house is so much oh, bigger. Yeah, yeah. So now people that are staying there this summer, because the weather is gorgeous, yeah. they'll be able to sit outside yeah. and just enjoy like the perch that yes. is the deck. And then uh, we also, of course, wanted to share just the, I don't know, the overwhelmingness of getting out of the cabin. I turned on the fridge to propane, and guess what, Trish? What? Guess. It doesn't work? <laughs> our fridge doesn't work? I'm sure our fridge works on electric, but it's not starting on propane. Oh. 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 Come on, baby. Come on. I'm gonna close this in case it's wind. Come on. Hey, when you hear it out there, it's working, it's going, it says gas, it doesn't say check. So I think what it is, the cabin's at 7,100 feet. I think it's an altitude issue. And I can actually, I've talked to Dometic about this and you can actually increase your flame when you're in altitude. So I think we're actually okay. It lit. It did? Yeah. We have a fridge? Yeah. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> I know you would I'm be. I'm so happy. Yeah. That is like, I can't operate without a fridge. Well, actually you can for four months. We had a cooler thing. Dometic cooler. Yeah. Best cooler ever. Yeah, it got cold fast, but seriously, I can't operate without a fridge because then we're eating out. Well, and not to mention it's looking for an fun. RV park at night is terrible. I'd rather just roll into a harvest host. Okay. okay, so I still have another like whole round of this. Yeah. And I have this and it is not working out. Yeah, the one, I will say, the one deficiency we're in Air, the Airstream bunkhouse is the closet space for the master adults because there's another closet in the hallway but that goes to the kids i oh like gosh, to pretend it's like a clown closet <laughs> look at what's going on in here what were you saying <laughs> well this doesn't fit because i have that oh. so i'm wondering if i just have to fold all my shirts and then only put in or fold all my pants mm. or something has to be folded and put away somewhere yes if you're a few months from going or a couple weeks from going and you're wondering what clothes to take start separating your clothes in your closet and find out what you really wear like move everything to the side and then when you wear something put it on put it in its own little section and after about a week or two see how many clothes are really over there and I'll bet you'd be surprised how few clothes you actually wear on a regular basis and then take those clothes into the RV that's my clothing tip I like it except I'm just gonna bring all my clothes. <laughs> all right the truck is loaded so let me show you what we have going on here the two directory chairs, which we love, the Blackstone, the Traeger. The Scuttle made it, but I, I don't suspect it's gonna last very long. I think if somebody's interested, we might be doing a giveaway. And then this is a roll-up table, mostly that we put the Traeger on. And then, let me jump up in here. In here, I've got the water filter, zero-G hoses, tools are in here, shovel, jumper cables, four-way wrench, bottle jack, bigger tools, funnels, stuff like that. And then back here, 
Tomorrow I'm gonna go get a new propane. And then I've got the gas fresh and diesel. Probably replace the diesel with fresh soon. And then the Furman generator and our rug that we got at Lowe's. I'd say it's time for happy hour. I made us some Kentucky Greyhounds. Oh, these drinks are I so good. Them. This is so good. So we're enjoying our last night at the cabin. We really do enjoy being here. Yes, it's cozy and comfortable, yes. but everything has a timeline. <laughs> and COVID has given us enough of the timeline here. Yes. We're ready to go yeah. and go explore. So yes. that's what we're about to go do. So we're just enjoying uh, a, a new deck. There was some issues with the joist underneath because there was some rotted joist. Mm -hmm. And so we thought we'd replace the deck. And then there was like, Charlie was always dirty from the rain. And so we added a little patio down below. We poured concrete actually on the side of the house. Jeff is coming here with his wife next week and they're yes. staying here so i apologize to jeff that there's still some masonry to it's like do a little construction zone. there's still a but little bit to do but shane the handyman has been here like every single day doing so much and we're like hey do you think that we could do this he's like yes yeah. yes handyman yes doesn't give doesn't, shane justice yes. because he's a master carpenter mm -hmm. and and it's he does to watch pretty work. much everything else but he did yeah. a fabulous job with his deck are we ready well we said we'd leave it too and it is now 4.33, so we are right on track. And we haven't even hooked up. Two and a half hours is not that bad. Charlie is literally laying down in a pile of dirt. Yep. So that's gonna make it awesome. Yeah. But Show everyone your fancy schmancy wallpaper you did. Oh, look at this. This room was all white. It needed a little something. Yes. So anyway, I added this peel and stick wallpaper. It's kind yeah. of a craze right now. But it is like super high quality, like grass cloth. Yeah. And it's doing really well up here. Carson's not a fan, but um, <laughs> he's like, what did you do to my room? Yeah. My room. Um, so anyway, but it's pretty cool. Yeah. And then we have the bear photo, the Alaska. Oh yeah, uh, sure. Look, look at him catching a salmon. That's awesome. Rawr. So anyway. And then we had the electrician come add some lights. Show everyone in here. Oh yeah. So look at this. We brightened up these rooms. Look at this on a dimmer. Yes. That That's what right I needed. there. For a vacation rental, when you come into a room, you want to be able to turn on the light. Turn on a light. Because yes. then otherwise it's all dark and then you got to go walk all the way to the other side of the room and fiddle with a light switch. I yes. didn't like that. Okay, so we got a little high tech. One of the things I was really concerned about when you're away for a vacation rental, or even if it's not a vacation rental and it's your house and you're traveling for the whole summer, is what happens if there's a water leak? So I installed the Mow and Flow, completely not sponsored. Look at this, I open up the app, I click off, confirm that I want to turn off the water. This is anywhere in the world. How cool is that? Right? And then, that wasn't quite good enough for me because if there was a water leak, I would get a notification to my phone and I'd still have to handle it. So, I have so I've got these little sensors right here, and I've got one under the sink, I've got one in the, wa the hot water closet, one under the sink upstairs. And the moment that water touches this, it automatically shuts off the valve, regardless of the notification. So like, let me see how sensitive it is. I'm just go like this. I'm gonna make it all wet, but I'll just go like that. You hear that? You hear it beeping? Yes. So it's beeping, watch that. Now my phone, Isn't that amazing? Wow. And the water's off. Wow. So it is $500 and I think it was like 130 for the three sensors and that's expensive. But let me tell you, if anyone has had any water heater leak or your house get flooded, I mean, you're talking tens of thousands. So huge peace of mind. What is that that's beeping? It's because you're touching that with your wet hand. Okay. <laughs> let me put it back down here. Are you ready to go camping, Charlie? Yes, he is. Oh, let's turn on some lights in here. Oh, I see Carson already has his LEDs. Um, this is looking great. <laughs> Just drop. Don't it. bump the camera, Charlie. All right, so I don't know how you feel when you're about ready to go on a trip, but for us, and part of it was that we couldn't leave the cabin just like as if it was our home. Right. We had to get it ready for a guest. Like pristine. Yes. But it is overwhelming. Yes, and well, and I've seen so many pictures and videos and things that people have sent through Facebook and Instagram where people are trying to get out of the house. And just 
give yourself, I think, a day or two to recover after you do the big push. If you're going to go out for an extended trip or you're going full time, you think, oh my gosh, I finally did it. I got out of the house and yeah. I'm in the rig. Well, then you have to organize the rig. Yeah. <laughs> and so you could feel overwhelmed and you could take it out on each other. So make sure that mm -hmm. you kind of give yourself a little cushion day in there somewhere where you can just relax. Yeah. And candidly, we are still adjusting to life on the road again and adjusting to a smaller space and a new rhythm and it is not it's not easy it's never i know easy. it looks like fun but it's not easy we will eventually get into a rhythm and mm -hmm. everything even charlie was like where should i sit where can I? we're all <laughs> he was nervous adjustment. for like two days he just didn't know where to stand yeah. and the other thing i'll say just regarding all this covid stuff is when something's closed and you are able to to go out and hit the road and something's closed don't focus on what it is you can't do or what's closed or not available just focus on what you can do already here in Ure, which we know how to pronounce now <laughs> the hot springs is closed yeah you know i'm not sure if we would have done that or not but it's easy to be like oh well i can't do that the grass is greener on the other side so right. the grass is greener where you water it and so we've already been to box canyon just in a few minutes we're about to head off to upper cascade falls and we'll share all that with you next sunday it's just really fun being able to start conversations with strangers again and say yeah. i'm excited to be out and they're like i'm excited to be out yeah. so anyway there's going to be a lot of things along the way on your trips that you're not going to be able to do so we just want you to keep the sunny side up yes and that is it for this weekend we're ha so thrilled to be back on the road and sharing this journey with you and so thanks for coming along and we can't wait to see you next week this heat is like a healing bow for the evening's walls. It pierced me with a dreamer's sword, breaking like the morning sun. My heart is yours.